Jason slammed his hand on the steering wheel, the greasy pizza box rattling on the passenger seat. Freaking rain! Why tonight? He peered through the streaming windshield. Traffic a snarled mess. Delivery number 16, and this one was already 20 minutes late. Great. A cold pizza and probably no tip, he grumbled. His phone dinged. Incoming drop-off, infinite pizza. What the... Jason's brows furrowed. He didn't know any place with that name. The address was unfamiliar, too. It was some kind of industrial park. His shift was almost over, though. Maybe one more run? As he pulled into the deserted, warehouse-filled lot, the rain was letting up. There was no sign of a pizzeria, just dim concrete and flickering streetlights. This better be some kind of joke, Jason muttered, stepping out of the car. Then he saw a shimmering disk of light hovering a few feet off the cracked asphalt. It rippled like a heat mirage, but a strange coldness radiated from it. As Jason gaped, something shot out blindingly fast and snatched the pizza box. The glowing disc was gone before he could even yell, leaving just a steady drone of traffic in the distance. Panic warred with curiosity. He edged closer to the spot where the thing had been. Taking a breath, he reached out a trembling hand. The air crackled. His fingers brushed against a cool, smooth surface, like invisible glass. And then, an irresistible force yanked him forward. He stumbled, tumbling headfirst into blinding light. Jason was sprawled on a cold, tiled floor when he could finally see again. What the actual hell? Heart pounding, he scrambled to his feet. He wasn't in the industrial park anymore. This place looked like a hospital cafeteria but conveyor belts snaked around the room instead of tables, carrying an endless stream of pizzas. Success, human. Delivery test complete. A tinny robotic voice startled him. A six-armed metal spider thing scooted out from under a conveyor belt, waving a mechanical claw in greeting. Welcome to Infinite Pizza, new employee. Please commence orientation. Jason blinked. Was he dreaming? Had he hit his head? Orientation? Hold on, I'm not in... The spider thing tilted its sensor-studded head, interrupting him. Error. Infinite pizza records show one employee vacancy. This is you. A metal claw thrust a greasy, stained apron at him. Jason stared at the apron. He was starting to understand. This was no dream. Something impossible had happened, and it looked like pizza was involved. Desperate lost, but also intrigued. He took a deep breath. He had to play along if he would survive whatever craziness this was. Okay, fine, he said, slipping the apron over his head. Let's do this orientation thing. The orientation turned out to be a whirlwind, delivered through a crackly speaker hanging from the ceiling. The robotic voice droned on about Infinite Pizza's mission statement. To deliver perfect satisfaction, across the infinite multiverse and his role in achieving it. Okay, voiceover lady, I get it, multiverse? But what about the pizzas? Jason asked aloud. Query acknowledged, came the metallic response. Demonstration mode one. A pizza on the nearest conveyor belt glowed, then whooshed through the air and disappeared in a flash of light. A moment later, the robotic voice confirmed delivery, followed by a bizarre series of sounds. A pleased growl, contented munching, a delighted squeal. Jason's eyebrows shot up. Did I just deliver pizza to a lizard monster and a pig in a tutu? Infinite pizza caters to infinite tastes, the voice declared. Then a new pizza appeared, and his training really began. Each mode was a different dimension, a flashcard world of bizarre customers. He delivered extra anchovies and pineapple to fish people, bubbling in water tanks. He sprinkled pizzas with glowing gemstones for crystal-eating giants. He even concocted a zero-gravity pie that floated in midair for a swarm of winged, chattering creatures. Every world was wilder than the last. Jason found himself dodging tentacles, shrinking down to ant size, and deciphering alien order forms. The apron provided just-in-time translations and warnings. Customer species highly flammable. Do not apply hot sauce. He was exhausted, overwhelmed, 
and strangely exhilarated. Days blurred into deliveries. Jason learned that speed and adaptability were key. Each wrong ingredient or delayed pizza meant a deduction in pizza points, the mysterious currency of infinite pizza. His score was abysmal, constantly flashing red on the scoreboard next to the conveyor belts. Pathetic, scoffed a sleek, cat-like creature with piercing purple eyes lounging on a velvet cushion. New guy won't last a cycle. Jason gritted his teeth. He may have been out of his depth, but he wasn't a quitter. The cat creature's taunt ignited something in him. With every wrong pizza, with every alien complaint, Jason didn't just get frustrated, he got observant. He started noticing patterns. The tentacled creatures always loved extra cheese. The gem eaters preferred a thin, crispy crust. And the floating creatures were surprisingly allergic to garlic. It was like a giant, never-ending puzzle. And Jason was hooked. He started experimenting with toppings, jotting notes on the stained apron, even practicing an alien greeting or two. Slowly, his pizza points crept into the green zone. The cat creature narrowed its eyes, seemingly annoyed by his improvement. Then it happened. Mode change imminent. Unmapped territory. Probability of customer hostility. Hi, boomed the metallic voice. Jason's heart pounded. A new world meant new rules, new surprises. An untouched pizza zipped onto the conveyor belt, its dough gleaming an ominous shade of green. He scanned his surroundings frantically. There were no instructions, no hints, only a timer ticking down in the corner of his vision. Panic threatened to choke him, but he forced it down. He couldn't afford to freeze. He remembered everything he'd learned, the preferences, the patterns. Green dough, something plant-like. Most creatures like cheese, a flash of inspiration. Could it be as simple as a vegetarian delight? He threw on peppers, mushrooms, extra olives. No time for second guessing. With seconds to spare, he flung the pizza toward the light. The timer disappeared. In agonizing silence, he held his breath. And then, a chime followed by a strange wheezing sound that Jason hesitantly recognized as laughter. Delivery complete. Customer satisfaction level excellent. Jason punched the air. He'd done it. Risked something new, and it paid off. His pizza points skyrocketed, a dazzling gold on the scoreboard. The cat creature shot up from its cushion and vanished in a sleek blur. Moments later, the metallic voice resonated through the cafeteria-like space. New employee has exceeded performance expectations. Promotion granted. A new doorway shimmered into existence next to the conveyor belts. Jason stared, heart thrumming with a mix of apprehension and excitement. He'd passed the test, but what came next? He had no idea, but in the strange reality of infinite pizza, he was finally starting to feel like he belonged. Beyond the doorway wasn't another pizza delivery challenge, but a small, dimly lit room. A single, ornately carved chair faced a large, circular window, looking out onto swirling chaos. Colors he couldn't name danced and clashed in impossible patterns. Dizzying shapes twisted and reformed, stretching the edges of what his mind could comprehend. Welcome to the map room, said an amused voice from the shadows. Jason jumped, whirling around to find the cat creature from before, a faintly glowing goblet in its paw. You've leveled up, delivery boy. What is this place? Who are you? Jason demanded, his hands balling into fists. The creature sipped its drink, eyes gleaming. I'm Lyra, and this, she gestured to the swirling view, is the uncharted multiverse, your new playground. Jason gaped at the window. So I don't just deliver pizzas, I find new... customers? Lyra smirked. Precisely. Most employees drone through deliveries, too terrified to experiment. You? You learned. You adapted. Most importantly, she leaned forward. You had fun. I guess being scared kinda made it fun, Jason admitted. It was the truth. The adrenaline rush was addictive. That's the spirit. 
Infinite Pizza isn't about toppings, Lara winked. It's about possibility. New worlds, new species, new experiences. You find them, you chart the courses, and we deliver the satisfaction they didn't even know they craved. Jason stared back at the chaotic window. It was terrifying and exhilarating all at once. So, what now? Lyra tossed him an ancient-looking yet pulsing map with a strange energy. Now, Pizza Explorer, you make your own path, your first blank space. He examined the map, a single red dot blinked at its edge. Looks like I'm in charge. Jason couldn't help the grin spreading across his face. This wasn't just pizza delivery, but building something huge, cosmic, and completely insane. Don't get too comfortable, Lyra warned. You'll need more than luck and pepperoni to survive out there. But hey, she shrugged, you were bored with normal, right? Jason met her gaze, a newfound confidence bubbling within him. He'd been lost, spiraling into the ordinary. Now, with an infinite map in his pocket and the taste of alien pizza lingering on his tongue, he felt more alive than ever. Yeah, normal was overrated, he said turning toward the swirling chaos beyond the window. It was time to make some truly cosmic deliveries. The multiverse crackled with stories of the pizza explorer. Jason, no longer the wide-eyed delivery guy, wore his grease-splattered apron like a badge of honor. Each new world meant new challenges. Clockwork creatures who demanded toppings timed to their internal gears. A hive mind that ordered through a chorus of buzzing clicks. Even a dimension where pizzas were sentient, and chose their own eater. Of course, he'd made mistakes. The time he nearly started an intergalactic war over a missing olive still made him shudder. But with each near disaster, his pizza points soared and his reputation grew. Then one day, it appeared a flickering dot on the far edge of his map. It pulsed with a chaotic energy he'd never encountered before. Curiosity battled with a strange sense of unease. He'd been pushing farther, venturing deeper. Had he finally reached too far? He spent days poring over old maps, consulting with Lyra, now more begrudging ally than smug rival. Finally, the day came when he could no longer delay. With a familiar mix of dread and exhilaration, he plotted a course and stepped through a shimmering portal. Days blurred into a kaleidoscope of deliveries. Each planet, each swirling nebula, held a new species, a new culinary puzzle. He was exhausted, but driven by a strange certainty. This path, this challenge, it all felt like it was leading somewhere. And then he reached it. A world cloaked in perpetual twilight. An immense cracked dome hovering in the sky. The air crackled with tension that sent a shiver down his spine. This wasn't about pizza. This was about something bigger. The order came in, a single pizza. No topping specified, no location given, only a countdown etched into the corner of his vision. With mounting dread, he followed the timer's guidance. It led him through the desolate landscape toward the cracked dome's looming shadow. Finally, he stood at its base, staring at a massive doorway. He laid the pizza on the cracked stone, stepped back, and the countdown disappeared. The doors groaned open, lights spilled out, and a familiar form stepped into the twilight. It was him, Jason, but older and weary, his apron faded and torn. You finally made it, his older self said, a flicker of amusement in his tired eyes. Jason's hands trembled. I don't, what is this? Older Jason smiled faintly. This is the end of your journey and the beginning of someone else's. He reached out, placing a weathered hand on the stained apron. It's your turn to teach, to guide. It's your turn to become the legend. Understanding flooded through him. It was never just about pizza. It was about passing on the torch, about ensuring the wonder and the hunger for the infinite never died out. Hey. He looked at his older self and then back at the open doorway. An eager, wide-eyed face peered back at him, a new recruit clutching a freshly issued apron. Jason grinned and took a step forward. All right, kid, he said. Time to make some pizzas. Let's see what crazy toppings you can dream up.